Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, so we're going to go over yesterday's question as well as introduce today's question. So, yesterday we learned about Dante and that he pays $150 to join a tennis club and then an official an additional $15 every time he uses one of the club's courts. So we're, we've been asked to write an equation that describes total cost for playing tennis as a function of the number of times he plays. Remember, a function is it's something that can be graphed where every x has only one y. So it is either a straight line or it is a curve. So, but we're not gonna worry about graphing, we're just writing an equation. Now we've been given two different variables to use. We're given C as the total cost and N as the number of times he plays. So I'm going to go back and I'm gonna look for my keywords. We said yesterday that paid means that he starts out with that and then every time we're multiplying by 15. So very simply, I'm going to come up here, do a slightly thicker. So I know that the C is going to be my total cost. So I'm just gonna leave that as my, if this was in slope intercept form, that would be the Y. Now, the total cost, the number of times he plays. Well, we don't know how many times he plays, so that's being represented by the variable N. But we do know that every time he plays, he pays $15. So if he pay, plays once, he has to pay $15. If he plays twice, he has to pay $30. So this N, this variable, depending on what the value of that is, that's gonna change this. But the one thing that does not change is that when he signed up, he paid $150. That is something that remains constant. So our 150 in this equation is our constant. 15 is a coefficient because it changes depending on our variable n. So, oops, I'm gonna undo that real quick. So C equals 15n plus 150. And that's it. That's it for today's question. All you needed to do was to write an equation. And we have C, our total cost, equals 15 times the number of times he plays plus 150. Great job. Now to introduce today's question. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna clear all the drawings and move on to the next one. Oops, too far. So this one, I wrote out and I gave you, it is a two-parter. So for part A, we have the cost of a school banquet is $95 plus $15 for each person attending. So <clears throat> write an equation that gives total cost as a function of the number of people attending. So for this one, you're going to be writing an equation. And then for part B, what is the cost of seven, seven people? So for this, you're going to take your equation, you're going to plug in 77 somewhere. So remember this, the cost of the school banquet, is $95 plus $15 for each person attending. So this is the cost to rent out the space. So you're looking for the total cost to rent the space, $95 plus $15 for each person attending. Attending. Think of the equations you wrote yesterday. It's gonna have a similar format to the one you're writing for this one. But the exception where it changes from yesterday is that after you are done, uh, after, after you're done uh, writing, you are going to also solve it, finding the cost for 77 people. So write an equation for $15, 95 plus 50, and then solve. All right, great job. 
I look forward to reading your equations and figuring out and seeing if those of you can figure out the cost for 77 people. Like always, if you have any questions, please come and find me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.